In an ideal world, um, you would be able to find a home health aide or a home health care worker, depending on the complexity of the medical needs of your um, loved one, to be able to come in and, and spend some time in the house making sure everything is in order. Um, since we don't live in an ideal world, sometimes those services are difficult to find. Um, you know, I would, I would look with, with the social service agencies and find out what your area does offer in terms of home health care. I would also look towards um, what any of your providers may recommend in terms of people who um, can spend some time and have some training in doing some of the rehabilitative services. If he's eligible for any outpatient rehab or any ongoing rehab, sometimes you can get some sessions in the home to help accommodate and set up the home in the way that it wants. Um, insurance is a challenge. You have to work with your insurance company because every insurance policy is different in terms of what they will and will not cover. And very often, if it's not directly medically related, they won't cover it. Um, the, uh, the other difficulty to look for in terms of looking for health, home health care and home health aids is that traditionally the turnover rate is fairly high um, in, those, in those kinds of positions. So taking the time to really look and explore and, and kind of figure out who would work well with your loved one and who would work well in the home is very important. Um, you know, as, as he continues to improve, you're going to want to look for um, more structured activities in the community that he can participate in, whether it's in some kind of adult daycare or something like that, um, so that he then starts spending some structured, supervised time, but is outside of the home. Um, the other thing is you want to talk with your social service agencies about any other kind of resources like Wheels on Meals that can bring food in, um, people who can come in and clean the home so that that's not an extra task that you or he has to worry about. Um, you kind of have to, to look and explore and put together a hodgepodge of, of what's out there because there is no standard, unfortunately. You know, discharge from hospital, you get these services. It's really very individualized and it, a lot of it depends on who, who gets along, who your loved one can get along with and tolerate, having in their personal space for a significant period of time. Um, and, and be willing to push a little bit with the insurance companies in terms of what they will and will not cover. Very often they don't cover a whole lot outside of medical attention.